Hello everyone, this is Arvind. This video is part of Java interview questions. Today's question is count the number of occurrence of character in a string. To answer this question, one should understand the question first very clearly and how to do that one. What you have understood in a very high level, you should repeat your understanding back to the interviewer. Like for instance, this is a example of a string one, two, two, triple three. So you should be explaining back like, is this the output you are expecting? If one is there, the output should be one. If two is there, the output should be two. And if for three, the output should be three. And if the interviewer says yes, then you should proceed further. Like, do you have any questions for this, uh, for this uh, requirement, right? So why this question is asked from the interviewer or you should take an initiative by asking questions to the interviewer, right? What it, it displays that when any requirement, this question is a requirement is given from a client to you. You just don't take the requirement at the face value. You try to ask the questions, the edge cases from the interviewer first or the client first before you start working on that problem now this question is there you could have like edge cases for example uh, do i consider space when i count the number of occurrence what happens if special and numbers come do i need to consider small a and capital a same or different and if the string is empty what should i return these are a couple of examples that you should be asking back to the interviewer. And this shows engagement to the interviewer from your point of view that you are, you are not someone who just start coding by hearing what is the question is, right? So this is the question and I have already completed the code for these questions. So I'm just walk you through about these steps that you need to do to complete the questions. Always remember, whenever you are uh, typing, uh, writing the code for your interviewer, always whenever you write any step or a line, you should explain back to the interviewer why you are writing that line and what is your approach, logical approach that you are making a progress. That is more important than the real output. It shows your thought process, chain of thought, everything. So now we have this input string, my name is Arvind. So if you see this, I have created a method here for this one. If the input length is zero, it's simply return that the input string is empty and we do not have to do any operations on that one. Now, if this situation is does not match, then we go to the else. So in the first step, right, we are simply replacing this space here, right? And then we are printing the output after I have removed this space. Then I converting the input string into a character array. And then I'm running, I'm just running a for loop of that character array. Now I have created one hash map variable to store the variable and their count value. If you see here, this hash map has a method name contains key. What this method does is it sees whether we have this character in a key, right? If it doesn't, if it have that character, what it will do, it will add one value in that, in the value here. So key, we will get the value what is already there and we will add one. If suppose the character is not there, then what it will do, it will simply put the character and add the value as one, right? Now, we have created a hash map which contains the character and the number of occurrence in a hash map. Now we have to print also. So we are using a entry set which gives us back this set collection, right? In which all the values are there. So I'm in that set, right? To iterate in that set, we can use for each loop, we can use iterator which has two methods, right? Has next and for each also. Here, if you see, I'm using a for each method to iterate from that set. 
which this method will return here okay now if you can see the output here it will print the number of occurrence of that character in a string now i will just change it one two two three three for your easy understanding i'm just making this comment and I will, i'm running this one now you can see the first output is there the, after removing these spaces you can see there is no space here so we have this same output here and you can see the count character is one and the character count is one for two it is two for three it is three let's uh, create a space here to the space here and uh, let's see whether it will impact our output or not right so it so the output is same so we have removed this space in this one so it is not affecting our output so you can see this is one of the method that we can use now the next method is if you see here i have used use for each loop to go through this character array in this one you can use for loop also to go through the character array and then based on that one you, you can the logic is very similar in this one also right and the third method is using streams if you can see like we have a input string right input string that we have received i have just removed the space from here so we have removed the we have just removed the space and we have this input string so i'm converting them into integer stream here if you see this method an int stream of character value from this sequence now if you see we are getting an integer stream here but we need to convert into into character stream and then we have to do a group by here so i'm just converting into a character here for this one and then i'm mapping all these to lower case this one if you don't if this this step is simply like to avoid the situation that a and a will be counted as same right if you remove this step then a count will be one and a count will be one right so this step will simply make the entire string to the lower case and then we use collect you can see in this method collectors dot group by we are grouping by this stream of characters right based on what like this function is function dot identify what this function is does right it simply gives back what the value is coming of a character and then if in the first character it is coming my name right t is coming so it will simply give t and it will and this step will start counting that one and the return of this one is the map character hash map right and then you can simply print those values here or either you can run for each value as well here i have commented here you can easily does this part as well let me just show you uh, if you have this one okay so let me just run it for you if you see the difference here a is one and a is one now we have not done make this string to the lower case right so everything uh, small case and capital K are considered as separate right and if i just run the character stream in this one, I'm using this to lowercase. Now we can see the difference. You can see the A is coming too. So this is how we should approach this question. And this is how we should approach uh, when this question is being asked. We should clarify first, then we should clear our doubt. And whenever we are typing something, we should explain to the interviewer clearly why we are writing something what is our thought process 
and what we want to achieve from that one that is more important than in, in some cases than actually getting the output also so today's for this one that's it from my side thank you